What's up, y'all? My name is Raynell Roy, and welcome back to my channel. I'm back, y'all. I was gone last week, had some vehicle issues, but we're good. The truck is back up and running, so we're good. Time to do some fishing. All right, so I'm back at the Texas City Dyke, and I know what you're thinking. You're back at the Texas City Dyke again? Again right now? Yes, yes, I'm back again. All right, because there's a particular video that I want to shoot, and that's going to be the best four spots to fish at at the Texas City Dyke. Now, I've seen this video I've done before by some other YouTubers, and quite frankly, it's kind of boring. Their, their videos are kind of boring. Shade, but shade, you know? And the reason it's boring because essentially what they do is they just pull up Google Maps and they just have a little narrative and just show you on the map and just point here with an arrow. But what I'm gonna do, okay, what I'm gonna do is fish the most four, I don't know if it's the most popular spots, but you know, the four spots you should try if you do come to the Texas City Dyke. That's what I'm saying, all right? All right, so the plan is four spots, one hour fishing each, all right? So that's the difference. I'm not just gonna show you on the map. I'm actually gonna fish these four spots and see what happened, okay? Now, I plan on titling this video the four best fishing spots at the Texas City Dyke. So if I don't catch any fish, I don't know if it's gonna be considered the best, but you know, we'll just, you know, sometimes the best spots don't even produce, but we'll see what happens, okay? If you click this video and I didn't catch any fish by the end of the day, you, you got clickbait a little bit because I put the best spots, but I didn't catch any fish. You know what? I'm thinking negative. Right now, we're gonna catch fish today. We're gonna catch some fish today. All right, um, let's join the waiters and get to fishing. Lay go. All right, y'all, so far as the first spot, when you first enter to the dike, you're gonna come up here, right here to a little pay station. Now, Texas City Dike Hack, get here before 6 a.m. If you get here before 6 a.m., it's free to enter the dike. If you get here at 6 a.m. or later, you have to pay ten dollars all right so once you come right here at the pay station make an immediate left right here and you'll come to a little parking area you know you're in the right spot because you'll see that um little pavilion thing right here and this is the area that we're going to start off fishing right this particular area runs adjacent to skyline road right here okay as you can see water's flat no wind i'm gonna throw a top water on there See if we can make it happen. Um, we just have to wait for, you know, my time lapse to finish recording because when you're a YouTuber, it's not just about fishing. It's about, you know, video content and fishing. I'm trying to make these vlogs entertaining and, you know, but in the meantime, we'll just enjoy the view. I'm dropping all the jewels, all these nuggets. You know, fishermen don't tell people spots, but I'm gonna tell you the spots today. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, so I'm headed along Skyline Road. Um, looking at the water, it is really clear. <laughs> Which, you know, on the Gulf, clear water is a special kind of occurrence. Got birds thinking about eating my bait. It's good, it means it looks real. So we're just gonna slowly work our way down skyline and just continue to look for any kinds of signs of baits and blow-ups all right y'all so spot number one is the bus it's okay though that just means that there's just no fish here for today okay so i'm 0 for one we're about to go to the second best spot at the texas city dike on the um south side over here come on let's go we're gonna catch something I ain't worried. Nope. I ain't scared. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. All right, y'all. So, we was formerly right there on the north side of the dike. There goes the pay station. So, we're just literally, you know, across the way. And we're going to come and fix this section right here. Fix this section right here, which is adjacent to the big tower with the spinning thing. I see maybe one waiter out there. That's about it. So yeah, we'll check out this area. The second best fishing spot at the Texas City Dike. We'll see. Where the fish at? Where the fish at? There they go. Where the fish at? It's my DMX impression. Where the fish at? Oof! Oof! 
That's what I think DMX would sound like fishing. What if is it? Did it buy my loot? Oof, oof. Did it buy my reel? <clears throat> DMX, if you're watching this video, no disrespect. This is pretty much how I imagine Snoop Dogg fishing. One, two, wait a minute. Three into the bow. Fishing in the water. Gotta hurry up out the dough. Hit the damn blunt, cause I'm high on life. I'ma catch a fish, and that's damn all right. This is what we resorted to, y'all. Hope you're enjoying the show. Hope you're enjoying the show. Okay, look, spot number two was a bus, all right? And to be honest with you, I never really liked that spot anyway. Yeah, yeah. Spot number one and spot number two, yeah, yeah. I don't care about these spots. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to give a shout out to these spots in the vlog. But yeah, forget these spots. We're going on to spot number three. It's the best third spot on the Texas Texas City Dyke. I promise y'all there's, there's fish out here. I know there's fish out here. Damn, man, come on. All right, y'all, so pretty much um, we just came from over there on the south side of the dike, right? You have your pay station over here. So next up is what's called Mosquito Island. Um, although it's called Mosquito Island, there, there's, there's no mosquitoes here. Everybody thinks there's mosquitoes here for some same reason because maybe they call it Mosquito Island. All right, so there's this a bunch of oyster shells that head out that way, about 100 yards. You can kind of walk across. Um, the higher the tide, the less visibility you see of this particular walkway. So it's definitely a low tide right now. Um, you can see some waders out here. Just be warned. Um, when you come out here, somewhere in this general area, there's a steep drop off. It's like eight or nine feet. So be careful. If you die, it is not my fault. The disclaimer has been added to the video. You've been told. So yeah, let's see what happens. Mosquito Island on deck. Lego. I remember as a kid coming to this spot for the first time and um, waiting for the first time was terrified the hell out of me. Cause you know, of course I'm paranoid about sharks. And I remember, you know, we was out here with like ghetto bait, hot dogs, you know, stuff like that. And this one white guy was out here with a little float, flotation device, you know, cork, and just catching the fish on shrimp. And I remember him telling us, be careful, because it gets deep. Now, what's funny is, <sighs> I also remember being stung by a jellyfish. So my first experience of really fishing and waiting was being fearful of shark bites, drowning, and getting stung by a jellyfish. Yeah, great memories, mom. Great memories. So, so yeah, well, I kind of worked my way towards uh, the drop off. Oh wow, look at that man, he killed it. Dude right there, killed it, hella fish. One, two, three, four, five stringers. Oh, you know I'm about to be nosy. Biting shrimp? Shrimp? Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, yeah, he has a nice stringer. Dude has a limit. That's crazy. You know what? Forget him. I don't care about this stupid fish. I can catch my own fish. <laughs> All right, look. Spot number three, Mosquito Island. Never liked this spot either. Nope, never liked it. Don't even like the name. Who, who likes mosquitoes? What good ever came from anything being named after mosquitoes? So yeah, we got one more spot. One more spot, y'all, to try for the Texas City best four spots. I'm 0 for 3. So for dramatic, um, for dramatic Vogue footage, I must, 
I'm just gonna catch something on this last spot. It's gonna be like the the actual end of the vlog. It just makes sense to catch something, doesn't it? It's gonna be dramatic. Last spot, I know it. All right, y'all. So the last spot for the fourth spot of the fourth best fishing spot on the Texas City Dike. What you need to do is drive to the very end of the dike all five miles. When you come down to the very end, you're gonna reach a dead end and you're gonna make an immediate left. Once you make that left, you'll come here. You see like a little station right here, porty potty. Then you're on your right spot. And what we're gonna do is come out here and the spot that we're gonna be fishing, excuse me, it's gonna be along those rocks right out there. The last four spot. It gotta work. It has to work. It's gonna work. Oh God, please, please God, don't let me embarrass me. Don't, don't, don't embarrass me again on this vlog. Let me catch one fish, please. They're gonna dislike the video, but I won't catch a fish. Oh God. Oh man, I'm still recording. GoPro, stop recording. All right, y'all. So the crankbait is in the car. So I threw on another down south lure. Hopefully, I won't lose this one so damn quick. But knowing me, I'm going to lose it on the first cast. Ask so. Current is hella strong. I'm scared to let it hit the bottom, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, my line is almost spooled. It's crazy. Whoa. Am I stuck on the rocks again? Damn it. Oh, man. Fourth best spot, AKA Mr. Steal Your Lure. There we go. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is a heavy rock populated area. Is my lure going? Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, you can't fish the bottom here. You definitely can't fish the bottom here. Because I'm just losing lures. And just throwing money in the ocean. Slot number four. You might as well just get your wallet. Throw it into the water. And save yourself money. Because that's what spot number four is about. 